I guess it's time to find out what Chuya meant when he said he is Arahabaki, and this one's called Only a Diamond Can Polish a Diamond, which I've heard in real life, so that's interesting, but I wonder how it relates to this episode. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 3, Episode 3. Yeah, because on Crunchyroll, it only says, like, the total episode number, kind of like My Hero, so differentiating the season numbers and it can get a little difficult sometimes but i believe this is season three episode three very excited last episode ended off kind of with a cliffhanger we were confronting rando about his lies and his schemes to try to undermine mori and so kind of makes me believe that's why we don't see him in the future very curious to find out what happens to him also with how he was discussing who our habaki is with chuya so i can't wait to hop into that i need to know more info i'm excited i'm loving the show you guys again with the banger recommendations let's jump right on into this don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are in the description like always for you guys don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much much appreciated let's hop into this bungo stray dogs season three episode three only a diamond can polish a diamond let's do this all right, only a diamond can polish a diamond. What does that mean, though? Like he was born, created on that day? Those look like Rando's prison. Prison power. But Chuya right there looked like the dwarf in the flask in full metal. What the hell is going on? That's why he was investigating our to find out about his own past. I thought you were going to give him info, not send him flying. His powers are so interesting. There are so many strong powers in the show, but they're just, I love the creativity and the uniqueness. How his, like, subspace is flowing with words, you know? Ooh. That's the previous boss. What's he doing here? Oh, my God. Can turn corpses stored in my subspace into supernatural beings I can... Are you... F what the hell? Damn, Desai sure is good. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he can really just manipulate the subspace at will. And the gravity kicks and everything won't work because his subspace doesn't abide by the laws of physics. He mangled his leg, completely twisted it around. Oh my god. Rando is kind of nasty. Does I mention that at the arcade last episode, why he only fights with his feet? So I'm curious. This is, a uh, sure interesting. His eye is quick. He is looking nice with the mobility. Just a metal casing inside of his cast. Okay. Always prepared for anything. Look at the double black right now. Ooh. I love when animes play the opening during a fight. Now the subspace is neutralized. And you got nothing defending yourself. Yeah, bye bye previous boss. In his mouth? I've never seen someone punch someone else in their mouth. <laughs> And imagine we kept that scythe. That'd be sweet. I highly doubt we will, but that'd be so sweet. It's a dope looking scythe. 
still can't believe Chuya is our Habaki, you know? <laughs> so what's your real name? Really? He's a human vessel for all. Oh, that's so crazy. Finally lost that cold you're talking about. And he dies just like that. God damn. Not how I was expecting this to go at all. Is he sitting on Rando's grave? Is this where he got buried? This is an interesting, dope looking cliffside graveyard. I'd actually, if I died, I'd like to be buried on a cliffside like that, looking over the ocean. It'd be a nice sight. Shirase. I thought this was going to be a friendly, hey, you don't have to feel like you're forced to be our leader anymore. You know, go off and do your own thing. What the hell? These guys are fucked up. I somewhat understand it, but definitely the wrong call. Yeah. I guess you were, Chuya, even though I thought you were dope. Ooh, he made himself super heavy, so he fell and broke down the cliff. Here comes the shitty design and the Port Mafia. You look like you're in a bind. <laughs> he still calls him shitty design. Can take him out in one foul swoop. So it makes sense why they're there. Hey, after what they just did to Chuya, I'm like, I'm like, go for it. Even more reason for you to join. This is the start of a love hate relationship right here. Literally, love hate. Him and Mori are always five steps ahead of everything, at the very minimum. Yeah. Ever since they are everything, yeah. He's damn, they're crazy. Ah, I didn't know that. I know he gave him this coat, but I didn't know that's why he gave him this coat. Ah, that's why Chuya wears that hat. Rimbaud. Someone just misread that and called him Rando? Hmm. Coming from one ex-leader, you know, it's a good question. Ooh, that's a good answer. I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like that. That's such a Mori answer. Such a Mori answer. Now that I truthfully believe. They do love this city. Now he respects him somewhat as a leader, asking that and realizing where he went wrong with the sheep and how more ill. So this is how he... Okay. Shouts out Chuya. Shouts out Mori. He kind of forced him to get to this point, but he genuinely won him over. That's what I like about it. Like, Chuya chose to be as devoted as he is to the Mafia through actual actions and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love these two. That's a little Q. Oh my lord. That's hilarious. Yeah, they're the dynamic duo. I love them. Only a diamond can polish a diamond, and they're both diamonds. I get the title now. Natsume Sensei? What? Natsume told that to both him and Fukuzawa? I knew him and Fukuzawa had a previous... They knew of each other, knew each other somewhat intimately, but they both had Natsume as their sensei? This is Ongo talking, and he's telling the story of how Chuya and Desai became the double black. Interesting. You got more to this? Who was his partner? Okay, why you gotta why you gotta break the fourth wall meta not like tease me like that? Come on. I do like Ango as a little storyteller right here, I won't lie, but I wonder who his partner was. I hope the next episode even dives deeper into this. Well, that is not quite how I was expecting this episode to go, which it did feel like the end of this arc, sort of like how what happened with Oda and Jeed was the ending of the previous Port Mafia little backstory arc. But I love how Ongo came in as a narrator to tell us there's more. And even a year after what we just saw, um, Chuya confronted the former spy slash partner slash not dead partner to discover the truth of his emergence, which I that's the only part I'm confused about, which I'm sure maybe will get answered. I have no idea. But Chuya, because Rando said what should I say, Rimbaud? I don't, I don't even know, I couldn't really read the inside of that hat. I'm just gonna call him Rando for now. Said that he was a human who had just been chosen as a vessel for our Habaki. But from like Chuya's point of view, he literally looked like the dwarf in the flask and Rando like came in and pulled him into this world. So I'm very curious about that. Maybe we'll learn more, maybe we won't, I have no idea. But he has no memories from before that time. And Rando lost his memories as well. So I am very curious. I love him and I love Chuya and Desai's relationship. And I love what Mori said about their relationship. Like Koyo was like, are you sure we should let both of these guys, they butt heads all the time, like these opposing forces into the same organization. And only a diamond can polish a diamond. Such a dope way of saying it. Shouts out Mori for that answer on what is a leader as well. Thoroughly enjoy that. You are both the, you know, the head of this organization and a slave to it at the same time. You do, you go through any amount of filth and do whatever it takes for the betterment of the organization. Even if that means being a uh, barbarian, you know, disposing of anyone that needs to be disposed of. It's, it's truly opened Chuya's eyes to what Mori is as a leader and, you know, kind of inspired him to be devoted to the poor mafia, which was super dope. Super dope. Also enjoyed the fight between Rambo, the previous boss, which Ram uh, I said Rambo. Rando's power is super strong. Thoroughly enjoyed that. RIP. I know he's dead right now. Um, previous boss had that dope ass scythe. I just love scythes in, in, in anime, especially one of my favorite animes. Actually, my favorite anime, Hunter x Hunter, also has a very dope scythe. I'm a very dope character. Not going to say anything about that, but oh, such good moments. I was kind of like so surprised at what the sheep did partnering with the GSS and stuff. I wonder what they're up to right now, the sheep, because we made that deal to not kill them. They are kids, so shouts out to the deal making from Chuya, but GSS dead i wonder what happened to the sheep though i'm about to hop into this next episode if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts in those comments down below if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes check out that patreon we have early access and full length four episodes ahead links are down below like always don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated you guys um don't forget to drink some water be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.